hello. I didn't see you there. I was just busy enjoying the beauty of the morning. Got the sun, got the blue skies, and I really hope that Sunday morning's exactly like that. <laughs> we're, we're learning how to convey enthusiasm through camera because it really is hard. So I hope that I'm gearing you up for a really good preach, that I'm bringing enthusiasm straight to your home. <laughs> Today we've got Lucy opening in prayer, and then we've got Emily delivering a very fine children's ministry teaching time for your kids. On to the captain himself, Ham, preaching for us. So grab your cup of tea, maybe a snack or two, and enjoy. I'm going to start by reading a verse from Psalms 51 verse 12, all about joy, would you believe it or not? Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. I hope that as you enjoy your Sundays, you live with joy and you're reminded of the joy of the Lord is your strength. Enjoy the preach, enjoy the prayer, enjoy the children's teaching. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that we can gather together today virtually, Father God. And thank you that we can come together and worship and praise you this morning, Father God. And Lord, thank you for helping us to get through this lockdown time, Father God. And Lord, I just pray that you help us to be responsive to what you want to say to us today, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Hello. Today we are going to learn that Jesus is our King. Do you know of any kings? What about Black Panther? He's a king. Or King Agnar from Frozen? You, there's lots of kings in the Bible too, like David and Solomon and many, 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 many more. And there's also kings in Spain and Belgium today. And there's been lots of kings of England over the years. So we've learned that Jesus is our king. And a king is a leader. They show people what to do and where to go. Um, so I'd like you now to pause the video and play a game of follow the leader. Awesome. Now I would like you to pause the video again and try play without a leader. That was a lot harder. Okay, now I would like you to think about what it would be like if the leader was a cruel person. That wouldn't be nice at all, would it? Yeah, so Jesus is the king, and he's a good, wise, and loving king, and he cares so much about us. So the Bible tells us about God's special people, the Jews. And a long time ago, the Jews were waiting and waiting for a king because they didn't have their own king or leader, and they had to follow a bad king that didn't love God at all. About the same time as this was happening, there were some wise men that were studying the stars at night. And shortly after Jesus was born, they noticed a new star in the sky. And they knew that this star meant that Jesus had just been born. They wanted to go and worship this new king. So they got gifts of gold and special oils and spices. And they embarked on a journey because they lived far, far away. And they traveled and traveled, traveled to see Jesus, following the star the whole time. Where would you look for a king? Maybe palace, maybe? So these guys thought the palace was a good place to start. So they went to the palace and there they found this bad king that the Jews... And he was not happy to hear of this new king. And he didn't want to know about... What, he didn't want Jesus to take over from him. Because he didn't realize what kind of king Jesus was. And the bad king asked the wise men to tell him when they found this new baby king so that he could worship him too. But he was lying. This bad king just wanted to hurt Jesus. But the wise men kept following the star and eventually they found King Jesus and his family. They gave the gifts to King Jesus and bowed and worshipped him. Luckily, God came to these wise men in a dream and warned them not to go back past the bad king. But from the story, we realize that Jesus is our king. He came to be the king of his special people, the Jews, and he didn't need to live in a palace to have lots of money. He also came to be our king, and he cares so much for you and me, and he loves each one of us. 
Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to make some crowns to remember this. So you're going to need two pieces of paper, a pair of scissors, some stuff to decorate with, and a stapler and or some tape. Okay, so you might need your parents to help you with this because it's a little bit tricky, but you want to line up the two pieces of paper and then you're going to cut them into the shape of a crown. Okay, so you want to make some triangles to make it look like a crown. And you're going to use the scissors for this. Okay, so, so long I'd like you to start thinking about how you're going to decorate your crown, okay? Because that is what we're going to do now. Now you've got your two pieces of crown that you're going to staple together or tape together. You can decide. Okay, so you're going to staple them together. And now you've got length crown okay you're going to decorate this now on mine i'm going to write that jesus is king because that's what we've been learning about right so you could decorate yours with stars or hearts or anything anything that's going to remind you that jesus is our king because that is what this is going to remind you of and every time you see your crown or wear your crown you are going to remember that jesus is our king see so I've written that now. You probably can't see it. It's in pink highlighter, right? And you can decorate it with anything. You can do stars. Maybe you want to do some stars to remind you of the story of how the kings found baby Jesus, right? Or you could do hearts to remind you how much Jesus loves us and that he's a kind and loving ruler and leader. Or you could, you could write words maybe that remind you of that. You can decide. And then comes a slightly trickier part, right? You need to... Close your crown, okay? And if you want to wear your crown, you need to measure your head first, which you will probably need your parents' help for. But I, I'm going to just keep my crown like this and keep it next to my bed for a while. And every time I see it, I'm going to remember that Jesus is king, okay? So now that you've got your crown, you got to remember that, okay? Jesus is king. Awesome. Okay, so... I really hope that you guys have enjoyed today and that you have fun making your crowns. And just remember, Jesus is king. Okay, guys. Awesome. Now we're going to say a little prayer. Dear Lord, thank you that you are our king and that you are a good, kind, and gracious leader. Amen. Awesome, guys. So now we're going to go do some worship in the form of singing. And that's so cool because we just learned about how the three wise men worship Jesus, right? Now we're going to worship him too.